Hi there, welcome to Tuesday afternoon. I'm meteorologist Jacob Wyckoff, joined by our executive weather producer, Terry Ellison. Terry, we're soggy outside at the moment. We are soggy and it's not even Saturday. It's, no, rain, it's raining and it's not right a now. Saturday. Yeah. Um, not to say that it won't rain this Saturday, but yeah. uh, more on that in a minute. Um, but yeah, a little bit of rain on a Tuesday, yeah. um, not a ton. And as you can see on radar, we'll show you in a, in a second here. It's the mo most of it is coming through really midday, early afternoon. We may get one final shower later tonight, but that's about it. Yeah, there's yeah. some actual thunderstorms moving through Martha's Vineyard at the moment. Uh, but other than that, it is fairly light outside. This is the warm front that's lifting through the area. We're not going to really warm up all that much. We still have some cool air that's in place. But you see some of those deeper shades of yellow and orange and red there over Martha's Vineyard. That's where we have some thunder and lightning. But beyond that, uh, back to the uh, west of Boston and west of New England, that's where the cold front is and we will see that kind of clearing out. So here's our future cast showing some of the showers and downpours over the next couple of hours. Terry, I think by the time we get to dinner time, we will start to pretty much dry out for the most part. Yeah, as you can see, so this is uh, later this afternoon, there could just be a spot shower left on radar. And then the actual front, cold front, comes through later tonight. I think probably better chance of a shower thunderstorm in New York State, Western Mass, yeah. uh, Vermont. And by the time it gets here, there may not be much left to it. There may just be a sprinkle or Loses a Loses a lot of diurnal heating, daytime heating. Right, yeah. So really not a, not a huge deal today, I think. Uh, again, just a, a tenth or a couple tenths of an inch of rain. So if you've got uh, a little league game tonight, you know, the fields are probably going to be fine. We'll have to watch that again, that last band coming yep. through. Um, but not necessarily a soaker today. And if you head into the Sox game tonight, a little on the cushion. Probably not what you expected when you bought tickets for June 10th. Yeah. Uh, 60 degrees with a, east, a wind off the water. Um, but doable, you know, a little doable. Yeah. Doable, yeah. Yeah. I think <laughs> that's not a good bar. That's a fairly low bar. Unfortunately, right? It's yes. doable. Uh, cloudy and cool. The good news is we will start to clear out into the overnights. Yeah. There will be much clearer skies. Uh, so if you're heading to the weekend at Gillette Stadium tonight, the overall trend for this evening will be uh, drying out. Tomorrow's really kind of a perfect evening for taking in some tunes. He's such a good singer, too, by the yeah, way. Yeah, some good things going on in the yeah. city here the next couple days. And if you're out and about late tonight or early tomorrow morning, the full strawberry moon, uh, it's officially full tomorrow morning just before 4 a.m., but um, this will be dawning the skies tonight. So another yeah. something, something else to look for. And again, like you said, skies will be clearing a little bit later on, so you will get a chance to check it out. So, Absolutely. So some uh, good deal stuff going on. And the great news is that we have a couple of great days of weather coming up. Unfortunately, it's the middle of the week, but maybe right. you're off. Um, <laughs> you know, may, uh, unfortunately, uh, again, the Saturday thing is real. Uh, we'll have some more stats on that in a minute, but it does feel like every week we get a nice stretch of two or three days of just beautiful yeah. weather in the middle of the week. Yeah, Eric says, you know, if your day's off are like Tuesday or Wednesday, you are flying high. You're that's golden. Right. Yep. Uh, it's really been the weekend that's thrown a, a wrench into the plants. Tomorrow we're yes. back into the uh, 70s and 80s. Cool spot will be the Cape and Islands if you're heading to the beaches. Uh, I like to remind people, not having hair, mm. I burn incredibly easily. Yes. And it doesn't really correlate with temperature at all. Uh, and even like some veiled sunshine, you can still burn pretty easily. Yep. Tomorrow, our UV index will be high. The sun angle is about as high as it gets this time of year as we approach the summer solstice. It'll be nice and mild at, at some area beaches. Um, the water's still fairly cold. It is, uh, yes. But on an 80-some-odd 80, 80 degree day, it might be a little refreshing to jump in, get a quick cool down, and, uh, and jump back out. But... Uh, it, it, from, <laughs> out of the files, we just can't have everything good at once. Yes. We get a couple of nice days, and here we have some more wildfire smoke coming in. As you can see, this is tomorrow morning, probably just a little bit of haze. Failed sunshine. Yeah, yeah, but by the afternoon and evening, that gets much thicker, especially north and west of Boston and up in uh, central northern New England. So that uh, smoke that you saw a little bit on Sunday and Monday coming back in again, for Wednesday. I think this is going to be a story really much of the summer. Yeah. Um, these wildfires are not going away anytime soon. In fact, it's rather early in the season for them already. So um, just depending upon the upper level winds and how they're moving across the country at times, we're going to have to deal with this. Yeah. And you see, so Terry's paused this Wednesday at 10 p.m. Uh, if we showed Thursday, 
I think that Thursday is probably going to be yeah. the worst of the smoke-filled days. Uh, yeah. Sadly, because we would expect otherwise yeah. some good sunshine on both of those. We, we may even, percent. yeah, and we may even, so our forecast highs for, for um, Wednesday are in the low, uh, low to mid 80s and a, a little bit few degrees warmer on Thursday, but we may have to tick those down just a little bit yeah. cons if we do get real some real thick smoke in here. Same thing happened last week. We thought we may get... Uh, into the mid 90s and it ended up being just around 90 because it does sort of blunt the sun a little bit. Absolutely. Uh, and even today the air quality isn't great. It's okay. It's moderate and it's just some lingering smoke and particles from the last couple of days and some of the uh, next round coming in. So yeah, it's, it's um, unfortunately if you're, I mean, it's not to the level, it's on an unhealthy level at all, but something to think about if you're going to the beach, if you're working outside the next couple of days, there will be a haze out there. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, and then moving on to th uh, Thursday's highs, like we said, um, I think if it wasn't for the, ha the haze, we'd probably be a few degrees warmer than this, but still mid 80s. Yeah, mid 80s uh, to 86 for Boston, one of the warmer days. I think yes, last week we hit 87 was our, our official high. Uh, the the now warm you're day. Challenging it. I thought we got 90 one day. Did oh, we? Uh, <laughs> we'll get back to you on that yes, one. Yes, <laughs> okay. I, I, it, sometimes in Boston, we get that Boston's late weird. sea breeze. Yes. And the winds go calm or the wind direction shifts, and then we bounce. The last I saw, I thought it was 87. You might be right. But you might be right. either way, uh, we do have a front that is moving through or a stationary front that kind of hovers in place Friday night into Saturday. And so when it comes to weekend plans, I wouldn't cancel anything just yet uh, because things can change with this system. But at the moment, I do think there will be a few showers around for for Saturday morning. That's an uh, very optimistic. Uh, there may be I there try. may be a few showers. I'm sad. There may I'm be sad. a few showers. <laughs> no, I feel like uh, we've come on uh, on uh, YouTube and on TV for the last several weeks yeah. on early in the week, and I feel like our our mantra has been, "Hey, it's only Monday. It's Just only wait. Tuesday. Yep. Things could change." Yep. And unfortunately, they haven't changed. No. Uh, our forecast has been too good uh, the last couple of weeks for the for the rainy Saturdays. Yeah. Um, I, I will say, and I agree with you, it, it's not like a, it's, a, it's an all-day washout like guarantee right now on Saturday. Sure. Um, some of the models, some of the better models, have the rain more so in the morning. Um, so if you've got graduation parties or things planned, like you said, don't cancel yet. You might want to just see if there's a tent available just in case. Yeah, yeah. Hedge your bets. Hedge your bets. Yeah. Um, we dealt with this last weekend. I can attest that the graduation parties were, that we, we managed, but it was a challenge. Personally, you shifted the time, We right? shifted our time on yeah. Saturday to late to in the evening after it stopped raining. And then Westford shifted the whole graduation from Friday to Sunday. So everything worked out, yep. but it's kind of like, it's going to be another, another one of those weekends where you just have to kind of be patient and be flexible. Yeah. Uh, so a lot of people... In in their minds they have nightmares from a couple of years ago mm. is this the same pattern that we're kind of seeing I, from I, a couple of years ago i mean i think different things atmospherically are going on actually before we get to that sure the, the sunday does look like it will be a little bit better maybe yeah a pop-up shower almost so. kind of like this past weekend right yeah maybe not to the same extent of like the torrential flooding same idea, rains, though. Yeah, but same, same idea, idea where there's going to be some dry time and then sunday we should start to see improvements worcester 12 straight Boston, at least a trace of rain for the last yeah. 12 straight. Pretty incredible stuff. Pretty amazing. Um, and and I, at this point, we can almost, I don't want to say lock it in, but 13 is looking rather inevitable. And you mentioned yep. uh, two years ago, and if anyone remembers, uh, back in 2003. Um, 23. Oh, 2003, yes. Yeah. We had a very sort of similar... Uh, the pattern was a little bit different, but the, but the end result was about the same and that it rained a lot of weekend days. You can see compared to this year, almost tit for tat. Um, now, obviously, so seven of the eight, there were eight weekend days in June of 2023 and it rained on seven of them. Yep. Um, and those were, most of them weren't just like a little bit. It was a lot. So we were getting, not only were we getting rain on weekends, but we were getting a lot of torrential rain on weekends. Rains, yeah. Torrential rain. So, I can't imagine that 2020, June 2025 is going to rival that. Let's hope it doesn't. Um, you know, but obviously we're not off to the best start here. So that was the start of the wettest summer or wettest year. We had a there was a bunch of, of records or, or stretches. I think yeah. there you took certain months and it was the wettest. Yeah, wettest summer, wettest like second half. Three hundred sixty-five days. Exactly. Stretch. Yeah. So and, and then, then we hit the drought the next year. Then we yeah <laughs> absolutely. Uh, the other thing that um, we had in 2023 was the wildfire smoke. So it was right. you're trading the rain for, hey, it's going to be a nice dry day, but we get the smoke. And too. another interesting thought, which we're sort of in the same boat now, even though we had all that rain, the humidity was so high that the temperatures didn't, you would think you got a lot of rainy days, right. a lot of cloudy days, temperatures would be below average. 
And in fact, temperatures were above average because it was so humid. We didn't hit the, the nighttime lows were warm. Yep. And we're kind of seeing the same thing now. We have been above average despite all the rain, temperature wise. And when we look back at the 90 degree days, we were well below average. Right. Because when you have humid air, when you have humid air, it uh, doesn't allow temperatures to warm up the same way as right. maybe dry air does. Uh, so it was it was record warm, and it was record wet. Yes. I, I mean, can we just get like a middle ground for us a little bit? Listen, I don't know, but I, I will say the other thing about 2023 was the fall was also quite wet. I did a little yeah. research. You saw me like scrubbing the notes. Oh, yeah. Down. September, almost every week, weekend of September was rainy. So. Uh, listen, uh, we're not forecasting that yet. Uh, honestly, it's just been, I think it's largely been bad luck. I mean, we haven't yeah. we haven't had a ton of rain overall. It's just fallen on uh, inopportune times. Right, right. So You think back to the Nor'easter a uh, couple weeks ago at this point, that was a Thursday. Right. Like, we've kind of dodged some bullets. Now, last Saturday was a, yeah. a kind of big soaker. Uh, <laughs> So I feel, like we're, <laughs> I feel like we've been Debbie Doubters here. Know, uh, the good news, I don't know if we can pull up the seven-day forecast, but the good news is over the next couple of days, we are back into the mid to low 80s for Wednesday and Thursday. Yep. Friday looks to be pretty decent before some showers move in. Friday night into Saturday, uh, we'll watch a few showers around. For all the fathers out there, we are mainly dry, maybe a pop-up on Sunday. Uh, below average temperatures for this weekend. And then... You know, what do you know? It We're back to, to be the way dry goes. weather for the start of the work. <laughs> guarantee that next week will be lovely. Um, but if you're watching us on YouTube, we ask that you, you like and subscribe. And I always say you're not necessarily – by hitting the like button, I, you don't have to like the forecast. Right. You just like the, the delivery of it. There we go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you like us, maybe not the weather. Exactly. Uh, but we do appreciate you tuning in. Uh, hopefully – Things will change on Saturday. We'll try to drop in to your feed here in the next couple of days and hopefully deliver some better news. But if we don't, please don't shoot the messenger. Uh, I've been uh, meteorologist Jacob Wyckoff, Terry Ellison. Be safe out there, everyone.